argument over electricity turns deadly. The 47-year-old is accused of killing his ex-wife, Marsha Williams, and her 28-year-old son, Robert. Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again to y'all another video. Hope y'all are having a very great day. Hope y'all are having a very great week also. My day is going absolutely magnificent. And big shout out to all the channel members, all subscribers of the Trey King Show family. And much love to each and every last one of you all. And you all, we have a story coming out of Florida by way of Dillon. And big shout out to everybody in the great state of Florida. Everybody in the great city of Dillon. And I want to thank the channel members and also the subscribers of the Trey King Show for sending me this video, for sending me this story. Because it's very sad what took place in this whole incident. And as you all may know from the stories I have covered, you know, we try to give all kinds of uh, advice and all kinds of uh, warning signs to those people who listen and try to, you know, tell them the things they should be careful of the things they should be watching out for because sometimes you know people might say one thing but their whole intentions is another thing and also be careful who you align yourself with in this life because as you all may know from most stories that you all hear the ones that even i don't do most of these people are killed by people that are close to them as in the case of this story right here we have a 48 year old woman who goes by the name of marcia eubanks williams who was killed tragically by her bitter possum face husband Michael D. Williams. And not only was Marshall killed, but also her son, Robert Adams, was killed also. And what makes it even worse, not only the fact that this man would kill his ex-wife because they recently got divorced back in July. And I don't know why they were still staying together. And I am going to say this also. I don't know who is listening to this video that is staying with somebody. But, you know, my spirit is telling me right now that somebody is going through some issues right now. And somebody think that they can't do better without a certain person. I don't know who I'm talking to, but I'm sure I'm talking to somebody right now. So if you are that person who think you cannot do no better without this person, all you need to do, sweetheart, is step out on faith because that's all it takes. And back to my story, not only was Marsha killed in a very bad, horrific way, but also her son, Robert Adams. And the coldest thing about the whole part is that Marsha, two grandkids, was there and they witnessed this execution. And not only the fact that this guy Michael Williams would kill his ex-wife and also his stepson, but he would go so far as to call the police. And all this is over bitter arguments, grown folks arguing over nothing. And I don't understand, Michael, if you didn't want to be with your wife no more, y'all already got a divorce, why in the hell are you all still staying together? And that's my thing in this right here. You know, if I'm with somebody, and true enough, if I get married to somebody and, you know, she's my wife, I don't want to get no divorce. I want to, you know, stay married to the day I die. But at the same time, not everybody has the same attitude. So I don't understand how a person can meet somebody one day, y'all lovey-dovey, and then the next day you want to kill them. I really do not understand that. And you all would not believe what Possum Face Michael told the police. He told the police once they arrived that he killed his ex-wife and also his stepson because they were trying to jump on him. And come to find out, as you all can see from this mugshot photo, he don't have a scratch on him, not anything. So the police found out that that was a lie. But also he said he killed them because the electric bill was too high. And some of you all may have heard the story all over Florida and from other parts of the country or the world. But as you all can see, this was not over an electric bill. This was over a bitter, jealous ex-husband who refused to let go. That's what it was about. Anyway, I'll break the rest down as I read a snippet from this story. I'm going to read a snippet from this story, and I am going to get my opinion, all of it. <clears throat> Surely, as we go, Florida man fatally shoots ex-wife and her son over argument about electricity usage. Now, all this started over one day Michael left the house. I don't know if he left the house to went to work or to go to the grocery store or to the side chick house, but shoot, he should have went to somewhere and stayed the hell there. Then guess what? We wouldn't even have this story, but guess what? It didn't work out that way. So anyway, Michael left the house one day, but right before Michael left the house one day, he decided to do what? Yes. He decided to cut the power off to the house of the residence, lock the electricity box, and then leave, all while... His ex-wife was in there, all while his stepson was there, and all while the two grandkids was in there also. And I want you all to ask yourself this right here. If you are at a home and your two grandchildren are there or your two children there, and your crazy ex or whoever this guy may be come over there or stays with you or whatnot, and if it's that bad, you should be staying together anyway. If he cuts the power off, would you not get up and cut the power back on? But also, if you cut the power back on, best believe it's going to be smoke in the city. So already be prepared to go to war or best yet have the police on deck. The chances are this thing would turn out very bad. 
as in the case of this story right here. Now, anyway, now according to officials in Florida, a domestic dispute over electricity consumption proceeded to shooting deaths of a 48-year-old woman and her 28-year-old son. Miss Marsha Eubanks lived to be 48 years old, only to be taken out by possum face ass Michael Williams. That's a sad damn shame right there. Like, Michael, why did you even marry a woman? You know what I'm saying? You stayed married 10 damn years. And like I tell you all, you know, your ex is your ex for a reason. No matter if they're ex-girlfriend, boyfriend, ex-husband, or ex-wife. So my thing is this right here. For those of you all who are still staying with somebody and you're divorced or broke up with a person. Let me ask you this. Let me get closer. Why are you still there? Why are you still there? I mean, do you not have enough money to be on your own? Now, true enough, I know different people's situations are different, but at the same time, trust me, if you have more faith in yourself and you just work a little bit harder, not saying that you're not working harder and not saying that you don't have faith, but if you just put a little bit more to it, guess what? Things will work out just right for you because I've seen it done a thousand times. You know what I'm saying? You like the good book tell us. And no, I'm not trying to preach to nobody today. I'm just trying to give you the truth. Is that all you have to do is what? Somebody know, yes, been paying attention in church. All you have to do is step out on what? Faith. Yes, look at the bottom. Step out on faith. That's all you have to do. So if you're in a situation, don't think that life is over or you can't do no better. What you need to do is drop that zero and get you a hero. Anyway, let's continue. Now, the news station confirms that Marsha Eubank Williams and her son, Robert Adams, were found dead Sunday evening in a dealing home. A statement from the Volusia Sheriff's Office alleges Michael D. Williams, 47 years old, looking here a bit. I don't give a damn about cutting the lights off on nobody. You keep messing with me, I'm going to cut your lights off. 77 in the face. Call 911 at approximately 8 p.m. on Sunday. That's too damn late to be trying to fight somebody over some damn electricity. You know what I'm saying? Michael, you were being very petty that damn day. So you mean to tell me, sir, that you would rather see your wife dead than just for you to move on? I don't understand that right there. So did you ever really love this woman? Because that's what I have to ask also. Because how can you love somebody and then years later you turn around and murder them when they weren't even being a threat to you? Anyway, let's continue. Now, Michael called 911 at approximately 8 p.m. on Sunday, stating he just shot his ex-wife and her son in self-defense. But like I told you all earlier in the video, the police found out that, that was, was a lie. lie. Yes, because as you all can tell by looking at Michael, he don't have a damn scar on his face. Yes, his face is ugly as hell, but he don't have a scar on it. And I don't know which one is worse, face being ugly or having a scar on it. Anyway, let's continue. Now, the statement continues. On arrival, deputies contacted Williams, who was sitting in a vehicle parked in a driveway. Now, if you're sitting in a vehicle parked in a driveway, why didn't you just back that damn vehicle up and just leave the house and leave these people alone? The woman is in there with her grandkids and her son. You take it upon yourself. You got so much hell in you, like the old folks say. You have so much hell in you that you can't even see past the hatred that you have for your wife and also evidently for your stepson because... You killed him too. Let's just be for real. Now, I understand no man is going to sit up there and let you murder or jump on his mama. I don't blame it. But see, what you all have to understand also, and don't take it for a joke because it's not a joke. You know what I'm saying? Maybe the way I say it may be funny or whatnot. But what you all have to understand, when you get with these crazy bastards, you're not only putting yourself in danger, but you're also putting other people in danger like your family and friends because they're not only going to get you if they really want to get you, but they're going to get you and also whoever is around you at that moment, just like these other stories I have done. So trust me, if you are having to call the police, just like Marshall was having to do on Michael, they was calling the police on each other. So if you at this point right here in your relationship, it's time to go separate ways. I don't give a damn if I had to go sleep in a shelter. I don't care if I had to go sleep outside of my vehicles. I am not going to stay in there with you because once I'm trying to get off from around you, you'll miss out is to leave me alone because I'm trying to flee. You get what I'm saying? Because we know where this is going to go. Now, why did Michael not leave this woman? I don't know. But hopefully the state of Florida will deal with him. But anyway, let's close up. Now, Michael was sitting inside his vehicle in the driveway when he called 911. He surrendered and was taken into custody without incident. Now, you didn't give the police that smoke because the only people you wanted to give that smoke to was your ex-wife and also her son. Notice. It was her son, not his son, because I guarantee you, if that was his grandkids and that was his son, he wouldn't have done it like that. Maybe he would have killed her, but he wouldn't have killed the guy also. And the sad thing about it, Robert Adams' kids were found inside the home. So you could best believe they witnessed their grandmother and their dad getting murdered. And not only that, the fact that they was left inside the home, even though they already seen it. So imagine all the damage that you have done to these children. 
Clearly, Michael, you didn't give a damn about nobody. And I'm trying to tell you all this until we drive it home. I don't care how many videos I have to do. If you are with somebody and you are having a difficult time being with that person, no matter if it's you all getting into arguments, because it's going to start out as arguments at first. Trust me, I've been there, done that. It's going to start out with arguments. And then once it start leading from arguments, it's going to turn into being physical to being violent. So chances are, if you and a person are constantly fighting and bickering with each other, the love is gone. Let me tell you this right here, how you can know when it's time to let go. If you hate to see a person coming, it's time to let go. If you hate to see them leave, you need to keep them because that means you still love them. You get what I'm saying? So what you have to do also is apply that to the other person. If the other person hate to see you in their presence, you need to leave them because the thrill is gone, the love is gone. And chances are things is going to get bad. But also at the same time, if you are around a person and they be happy to see you and it's just number loving, you can feel it because your spirit going to let you know. That's why I tell you all to pay attention to your spirit and also to the signs. That's where you need to stay. You get what I'm saying? So chances are if a person hate to see you coming, they don't have anything good for you. But if they hate to see you go, chances are they have love for you. Because if they hate to see you go, guess what they're not going to do? They're not going to do anything to hurt you. They're not going to do anything to take your life. Because guess what? They hate to see you go. But if they hate to see you coming, I guarantee you sooner or later, it will get violent. And if it don't involve death, it will involve somebody getting hurt physically. But anyway, you all let me know what you think about this video. If there's anything I may have missed or misinformed, which is not my true intent, please let me know in the comment section. Or you can email me and we can talk about it more there. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Become a channel member. Also, share the video with your family and friends. Till next time, you all stay blessed. And I will see you all soon on the next Trey King Show. And guess what? I'm out.